there's talk of offering him uh, pleading to Lane Drag. And so, um, but, you know, it's been a year and a half. They've used this to handicap the DA's office. You have a DA who has come in and, um, you know, he's an indicted DA because of some narrative that they've been pushing that that $300,000 in damage to the Civic Center occurred because of some somebody doing some donuts there. Um, so I think at this point, uh, you know, there's no, he, you know, he wasn't driving the cars. He did not ask anyone to do donuts there. The guys that did the donuts, as they testified, um, you know, folks do donuts in the Civic Center parking lot. They've been allowed by the city to do this. And that's why the whole parking lot is covered with donuts. So, um, you know, I don't, he's not going to take a deal on a case because, um, uh, you know, a fake case, essentially, he's not going to take a deal on a fake case, as far as I know. Would it so, impact him um, being the district attorney if he did take a deal, or would he still be able to keep his job? Or? He would be able to keep his job, um, and it would not affect his ability to practice law. I mean, they are offering, now they're offering, now that we're getting close to the jury, all of a sudden they want to see if people will, will take a, a misdemeanor laying drag uh, charge, you know, charge on the case so he wouldn't be actually playing to any felonies he'd be playing to the misdemeanor that's what he's and you got to realize on. yes well yeah he would not be but you have to realize the whole reason we're here is because the da filed a motion to uh, uh for a demand for a speedy trial he's demanded a speedy trial and so the reason this is now coming to a head is because of what he is demanded in the case otherwise this would just be laying around the legal system for for years and it, do, it does affect the uh, administration of justice here because um, if you're an indicted DA, it's very difficult to get good lawyers to come work in the office. It's very difficult to retain good people. Uh, for the most part, you're not going to have lawyers from Macon, Atlanta, Savannah wanting to come to Columbus to, to work under an indicted DA. And so, um, you know, that was the whole goal. That's why they indicted this case on Election Day. It was supposed to be the day that he actually won the election in November when they had the general election. You know, it's no um, coincidence that this case was indicted on election day so that all the headlines everywhere, they don't talk about him being elected DA, they talk about him, he's now an indicted DA. And so, um, you know, it's had its designed effect. The effect is to, is to handicap him and his office and that's what it's done. That's why he's demanded a trial on this case. And I think Mark is going to, whatever the people want uh, out of this case, he is fine with. And so, um, you know, he trusts the system, he trusts the jurors, and he is, um, you know, willing to put his, his, his life in their hands. So.